Hey, and welcome to the Solid Verbal. Now would be a perfect time to consider subscribing. Yeah, that little subscribe button for year-round premium college football content. That's it. Here's the video. Enjoy. Subscribe. Wes wants to know... Alpha. Who's the best quarterback in the ACC? Who's the best quarterback in the ACC? Best quarterback in the ACC. Okay. I'll throw out... Do you a- want me to give you some options? Mm, no, I, I know some of the options. I mean, Tyler Van Dyke, okay. I think, is probably the obvious name i think he's the one who's got the highest uh pro ceiling to say a minimum mm-hmm. but i would also throw devin leary in there i throw brennan armstrong in there as well you're giving me all of them give me one i would say tyler van dyke if i had to pick you think one tyler van dyke has the highest ceiling i do i do of any i think of brennan armstrong might have better stats but okay. i would i would probably throw in tyler van dyke if i had to rank them I would rank mm-hmm. it Tyler Van Dyke one, Devin Leary two, maybe Phil Jerkovic three, and then Brennan Armstrong. Just my own personal totem pole. Okay, so I think that's totally good, and I think that's a good answer, good answer, Ty, good answer. Okay, against ACC opponents last year from a purely statistical standpoint, there is a quarterback you didn't mention, and I think we talked about it yesterday on the Spillover Show, who led in both 2019 and 2021 the ACC in ACC games in both quarterback rating and yards per attempt, and he did so with two different names. <laughs> oh, okay, Mikhail Malik. So, yes. Okay. And so they change, Louisville changes, lol, changes offensive coordinators this year. He has, 2020 was a, a very much down year for the Louisville offense um, and Louisville in general, but he was especially efficient with the ball and cleaned up some of the turnover mistakes and ran the ball better, by the way, if we're taking in the totality of this quarterback experience. And I think he goes back with Lamar Jackson. I think there was some relationship there, that they knew each other. Um, That Malik Cunningham, from a purely ceiling standpoint, because of what he can do with his legs, he probably should get a little bit more accurate and you get the the number closer to 65%, his completion percentage. I think Van Dyke is the best pure quarterback. Like, I think he has the highest ceiling of he can beat the best team with his ability with his arm. Like, we're just scratching the surface because they, you know, Miami put uh, a lot of stock in Derek King, a beat up Derek King, whereas now we have a full off season and it's Josh Gaddis and Mario Cristobal. And we know Mario Cristobal's experience with quarterbacks. Sorry, I couldn't get through it without laughing. Um, but still, Tyler Van Dyke's ceiling is incredibly high. Brandon Armstrong. New staff. I don't know if that takes time to uh, to get used to a newer offense and you know new new verbiage. Uh, Devin Leary, I think, is really really good and also took really careful care of the ball. I think I would have it Van Dyke, Leary, Cunningham. Mm, okay. I think Hartman is too oh, careless with the ball. Man, I forgot so many players here for this. Just yeah. kind of pulling out of the uh, the 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 catacombs that is my brain, but. Right. Yeah. I mean, the one thing that comes to mind is you look up and down just the list. It's a great quarterback. Conference. It's a really yeah. good quarterback conference. Yeah, I, I yeah. agree. TVD continue. I'm sorry. You, you mentioned Sam Hartman. Yeah. Sam Hartman needs to clean up the interceptions. And I worry that he's a little bit too system with the slow mesh. Like, I'm, I'm just not fully there with him as like, look, they won a ton of games with Sam Hartman last year running this offense. He's a good quarterback. Uh, he's got to be, you know, a little bit more careful with the ball. Um, and then the dark horse to me, just in terms of totality of how they can beat you is Jordan Travis. If he can stay on the field, that's the thing. He is the guy they upgraded at receiver. They're getting better at off on the, on the line in front of him that there are a ton of interesting guys. But if you're saying whoever that this a, a generic ACC team, an average ACC team has to employ this quarterback to beat, uh, a upper middle class power five team from another conference, Penn State or Washington or um, yeah, who, whoever, Baylor, Baylor's the top of their conference. But uh, who would you employ? I think in terms of big gamey readiness, it might be Leary. Just because he doesn't make a lot of mistakes or Tyler Van Dyke. I think those are the guys right now that I would take. You know, Brendan Armstrong offers the duel as well. And that can't be overstated. Sure. But those are the two guys I think I trust right now the most. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't we say Tyler Van yeah. Dyke and Devin Leary unanimous one, two. After that, mm-hmm. 
as you mentioned, ACC is a pretty good quarterback conference, and it's easy yeah. to forget names. I, honestly, it's very easy to forget totally. names that are you got playing. Phil Jerkovic, yeah. I mentioned Jerkovic. Maybe I was a little too bullish yeah. on him because I'm biased back to his Notre Dame days. But nonetheless, yeah. uh, a pretty good quarterback conference and something that I think will be a lot of fun to watch in 2022. Extreme buy low, speaking of bear market, um, <laughs> which we didn't say. Um, do you want to take a buy low candidate? The best of, and you'd have to be a believer, but the best of Keaton Slovis mm. in a better system, maybe, than what he was running at USC, but he had incredible receivers at USC. That's the thing. He was throwing to Drake London and Amon Ross St. Brown, like great NFL caliber receivers. But Pitt will help him out some. Obviously, losing Jordan Addison, not ideal. No. Um, but I don't know, man. Like, it's just... It's a very interesting top to bottom quarterback conference. Like, and that to me makes it that the ACC, while uh, not replete with excellence overall, like week to week is a really interesting watch. I mean, there's only really three teams in the ACC if you're looking at just the list. Yeah. Where you don't really have any idea what the quarterback play is going to look like. And I'm referring to Virginia Tech. Yep, I think I'm referring to North Carolina, North Carolina, and Duke. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, though, the Atlantic Division: Phil Jerkovic, DJU, who we didn't even mention, Jordan Travis, mm-hmm. Malik uh, Bakel Cunningham, whatever it is now, Devin Leary. Um, why can't I think of the name from Syracuse? The transfer from Mississippi State. Schrader, Garrett, Garrett Schrader. Schrader. Thank you. I almost said Garrett Nussmeyer, which is not what yeah. I meant. Sam Hartman for Wake, and then on the coastal side, obviously Duke. Georgia Tech, right? We know the Georgia Tech situation. We got Tyler Van Dyke at Mm -hmm. Miami. Keaton Slovis, you mentioned. Brennan Armstrong, Virginia Tech. Who the hell knows? So, yeah, top to bottom, pretty good. Pretty good in terms of quarterback play. And and we're going to get one and a half to three random weeks in which Jeff Sims lights somebody up. Totally. (laughs) And you don't know when it's going to happen. You don't know. He lit up, I think, Pitt last year. He threw a couple picks. But there is going to be a Jeff Sims week because he was that, that blue chipper quarterback out of out of high school i think he's from florida where he's just going to put it together for one and a half to three weeks and make somebody miserable yeah how don't know when it's gonna happen how how obvious was it when i panned georgia tech there that i forgot jeff sims name no i mean was that obvious because i thought i covered it up pretty well i'm i'm so used to your uh (laughs) your mannerisms and strategies verbally that you knew it doesn't phase me (laughs) All right. Good question. Thank you. Good question. Yeah. I, I'm i fully prepared for this to be any of five quarterbacks, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Like, there's nobody that... Like, Tyler Van Dyke has the interesting ceiling. Devin Leary is proven and experienced and hope he stays healthy after, you know, the injury from a couple years ago that opened... Who was, was Bailey Hockman? Yeah. That's who <laughs> it opened the door for? Yep. Yep. Um, so all of these guys have just, like, could be's, but. Could be but. Could be but. 